well. Look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Carian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Oh, watch out there! When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Brave Tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucaria Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. Blythe actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the whatever you... Something else. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? 
I have no memory of ink in thee in. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into me? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that... I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed. There is, in my service, a half-wolven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. Oh, heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer en Speak with the three thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish it hath been a explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me. Let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. Let us give all together. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below to see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous art. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani. Ah. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. 
Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. the stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Well met. What news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's Girls Radan. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He who was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword... I take it you've heard of well. After years, I going and only lies, to be honest. Lies is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. 
They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, it is here at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan? Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord.
faut.
Bring more deaths I shall grant thee. I and Claw feed me more. message to the round table hold. I am Fia. Deathbed companion. Hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise, the Lord of the many and the meek.
Took your sweet time. The players are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Once more into the fray together, eh? <laughs> this might even be fun. Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune! A celebration of war! The Radan Festival! How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. Prepared young chum. The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of four friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. You will find the General Radan divested of his wits and howling. 